Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Canna Britt. And I'm Bobby. And today we are doing the Love With Food Box. Um, we've done one of these before. Mm -hmm. Only one, I think. And I really like them. They're kind of more of a healthier snack food. Um, and most of it's based here in the United States. The nice thing about this box, for one, is it actually has snacks in it. It's not all just candy and potato chips. But two, for every one of these boxes that you purchase, they donate one or two. I think it two. depends on the size of the box. It was two, and then for the bigger yeah. boxes, it was three. They donate a meal to Feeding the Hungry. I think, I don't remember exactly the name of the organizations like Stopping Hunger in America. Children with Hunger or something like that. So that is a definite added bonus if you're, I mean, you're going to eat good, you're going to do good, so love this box and you guys really need to go check out their website. It is lovewithfood.com. Don't know if you can see that on there. I hope you can. If not, okay. we'll add a link into the description for you. And the box that we get, there's different sizes. We get the deluxe box. And the nice thing is, is that they also have, um, they call it a pantry on their website. So anything in this box, if there's like one specific thing that you're like, oh, that looks really good, I want to try it, you can go on there and you can order just the one item. You don't have to order the whole box and everything else. And so I love that because we get a lot of boxes that is like, oh, those were really good and then we'll never see them again. So Because you don't want to order a whole other box. <laughs> right? Let's see what's in here. Oh, it looks like spring. <laughs> By the way, happy spring. It's a week past Happy Easter, spring, so. everyone. As you can see, the box is pretty cool. <laughs> when you tilt it, things slide out. That and didn't happen. There's always savings deals in here. and Okay, so it's one box equals one meal to Feeding America. But there's also coupons in here where you can get a discount off of other stuff and off of Love With Food and I think there was like natural cleaners and stuff in our last box so we'll see they're probably at the bottom too and it says thank you you're awesome so it's always great when somebody tells you you're awesome even if it's a box. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. All right. Okay <coughs> I'm going for the beef stick first. So this is ooh, a kosher beef stick. So, all of our Jewish friends, this is for you. Yes. And also, while she opens that, these boxes, when you get them, are wrapped in cellophane and shrink-wrapped. I cut it off just because it has my mailing label and everything else on it, and so that I didn't have to sit and mess with it. But So, that's kind of nice because it kind of keeps everything fresh during shipping, and you don't have to worry about any of that. Everything comes safe and sealed. Okay, this is by... Tom Kosher. Tom or Tom Kosher. Kosher. TK. Original smoke flavor. And it smells like a regular <laughs> beef I love stick. beef sticks, so we'll I'm worried out. about kosher. I don't know what kosher means. It's good. Um, yeah, it tastes like a beef stick. I think... Duh. Okay, I'm so sorry if I'm wrong <laughs> on this. But I think kosher like means that there's no pork in it because like okay, Jewish yeah, yeah. don't eat pork. I think you're right actually. Yeah. Okay. So this is just beef, water, and seasoning. So it's good. It's like all beef. And yeah. It actually tastes pretty good. We have pretty small pieces so I'm going to try a bigger piece. you want a bigger piece? Sure. Because hey, we're not that brave so we try out. We start out little bitty. And it's good. It's a Tastes like every other beef stick, but it's not greasy. So. It's got a good moisture to it without being overly oily. And it's got a very, very strong smoke flavor, which is, it tastes great on it. And so, pretty good. Thumbs up. Yeah. That's a rumble. <laughs> All right. This, we're not going to do, but it's PB Fit, and it's a powder. And you are supposed to combine this packet with two tablespoons of water and stir. And then it makes like a peanut butter dip for pretzels or apples or celery and stuff. So we'll try that when we do our next box. We'll let you know what we think of it and everything. But there's quite a bit of powder in there. So I think it's going to make quite a bit of 
mix and so I don't want to do that until we can actually Enjoy eat it because that is the worst thing about doing boxes and doing videos is we open everything we sample it and then after we're all done we go back and we're like okay now we can actually eat this we're going dark dark okay so I'm gonna pull out something else then because we're not doing this but, all right that's PB fit this box must be Never mind. I thought this said peanut butter on it too, but it don't. This is a brownie bar with all natural ingredients. Um, it's made in a nut-free facility made with whole grains. And it's only 150 calories for the whole brownie bar, so mm. that's always a good thing. I need more brownies with that amount of calories. <laughs> I just need more brownies in my life. Brownies make me happy. And it's really soft. And so, it's a decent sized bar. And it's got chocolate chips in it. So, let's see how that tastes. Mmm. It's really good. Bee bar brownie bars? Mm hmm. Yummy. Very chewy, not too dry, not too moist. For a packaged brownie, it's really good because <laughs> a lot of the packaged brownies are taste chalky. This one, no, it actually tastes like homemade brownies. Yeah, that was pretty good. There was a microwave for five seconds, and you have homemade brownie. And great, no nut allergies in this box. Well, in this bar, we can't say that because there's lots of other stuff still in this box to come. And I'm sure there's nuts in there. Something will be nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Close my eyes and read them. Papa's Skinless Popcorn Pops. Sweet and salty. So, I'm confused. What is skinless popcorn? Give me the scissors, it, please. From the picture? Show me the picture. It kind of looks like it's the old maids <laughs> that are the unpopped curls. But that's what I was thinking. So you kind of look at it and you're like, do I need to pop it or A not? whole new popcorn experience. They smell like, um, oh, what's that cereal? Puffed white, puffed corn, puffed rice, Like rice, the puffed puffed corn. <laughs> puffed corn, I think is what it's called. And so on the picture, I thought it looked like the kernels, but it don't. It actually looks like it's like a puffed. It looks like dried popcorn pieces. I'm guessing it's puffed corn. It tastes just like the cereal, but it's really good. It is actually sweet. It is pretty sweet, yeah. It tastes like puffed wheat cereal. I like it. Oh, he made it so the kernels wouldn't get stuck in his grandchildren's teeth. That was a fun fact. <laughs> so this is also good for kids. Kids and People who have dentures that are, don't have them, they can't eat popcorn? T um, anyone with TMJ? <laughs> It'd be a good travel food, too. So, I'd be like that one. Or diverticulitis, all. where you can't eat popcorn, you can eat these. <laughs> That's a rumble. <laughs> rumble on those. Alright. So, this one's going to stick with the popcorn theme. This is sea salt popped kerns. <laughs> so, these are probably going to be more like the kernels. Or they'll be like that, but they're salt instead of sweet. Those were sweet, like a cereal. Those, yeah, these were um, sweet and salty, and these ones are sea salt. But these ones are Papa Pops. They're popped kerns. Okay, so... They look like <laughs> the kernels from popcorn. They do, like exploded kernels. I'm excited, because those are my favorite pieces of popcorn. My good... That's what they taste like, is like mm -hmm. the unpopped kernels. But they're not hard and they'll break your teeth when you bite into them. <laughs> they're super good. Mm -hmm. I like these. These are really good for a salty snack and then, mm -hmm. you know, I like the kernel pieces that <laughs> blow up, but... Those, Those are rumble. Good. Mm -hmm. And they're popped P-O-P apostrophe D kernels. Alrighty, we're just trucking through this box. I feel like we're going cool. really fast, but that's good because there is a lot in this box. 
This is double Dutch caramel. I hate eating caramel. I hate the way it gets stuck to my teeth. I think we have had those before, or ones like that. Maybe not that brand. I said I don't think it was this brand. This. So from the picture and from what I'm feeling, it almost seems like a wafer with a caramel filling. Um, but this says that it has one cookie in the package, and it says that it's Holland's favorite cookie. Yeah, I swear we've had. It may not have been this brand, but we've had these before, and. No, it wasn't this brand because these ones look better. The other ones that we had, I didn't really care for. It was like the wafer tasted really stale. I remember what those. you're talking about. Oh, I think it was in the box that we got that was like full of Mexican candy. So let's go ahead and give this a little cut. I don't know how well this wafer is going to cut. It <laughs> two scissors. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, this one has better coloring. It's a darker yeah. color and... And it actually looks like a pretty thin layer of caramel. It has a cinnamon sugar taste to it on the wafer, like cinnamon toast crunch. Mm-hmm. You don't really taste the caramel in it. It's it's pretty good. It just tastes like cinnamon toast. It tastes like soft cinnamon toast crunch. Like rum chata. That tastes <laughs> yeah, that tastes like rum chata. It's not bad. Um not something I would go out of my way to buy, but if you are a cinnamon sugar person, I believe that you would really like that. Yeah, and it's something that I think a little bit of it would go a long way. It's like, you'd have two bites of it, and you'd go, yep, that cured the craving for that. That's and enough. this is something that I think kids would really enjoy, even. And it's really low. It's got 150 calories in the cookie. It's low fat. So this would be a good snack for kids, even. Um... Does contain wheat, soy, milk, and egg, but made with all non-GMO ingredients. Yay. Healthy food! <laughs> That's what we love about love with food. Okay. This is called Made Good Vanilla Crisp Square. It says, school safe, free from peanuts and tree nuts, organic, so cool. with vegetables. I love that it says school safe because that is so important to not take peanuts to school. Because you never know who else in the class might have an allergy. So, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, actually, I think there's a lot of rules at schools now that you yeah. can't take peanut butter and stuff like that. Because if you hang your lunches in the same area as kids with allergies, then somebody can get really, really sick. Well, and for, like, birthdays and stuff like that now. I don't know about other school districts. I do know with our school district here in Lincoln, um, we can't bring treats for birthdays or like the last day of school or anything anymore. And if you do get approved to bring a treat, it has to be store bought, cannot be homemade. Like that's so crazy. It's a Rice Krispie bar. Oh yeah. So we will. And I love Rice Krispie bars. She does. She makes them a lot. I do. It smells like v French vanilla. I don't like it. Sorry. That was a weird taste. Yeah. Because of the vegetables in it. <laughs> I'm guessing the vegetables is just the rice or something. I don't... I just brown rice, cane sugar, fruit oil... Vegetable glycerin, flour, sea salt, natural flavor, and vegetable extract, spinach, broccoli, tomatoes, beets, and shiitake mushrooms. So it's probably healthy for you, but I don't like it. Sorry. No, that, I don't that like that That one stumbles either. for me. I, yeah. And, and it leaves a really, really bad aftertaste. So it's like bitter. I don't That's like so that. disappointing. I love Rice Krispie Bars. But not that one. Okay, so made good. Not a not fan. A fan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, next thing. Turkey jerky. This scares me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I've never had turkey jerky, but I like that it rhymes. Um, Country Archer. They were established in 1977. This is a hickory smoke flavor. Turkey jerky, as gourmet as jerky gets. I like beef jerky, and 
I think it was last year for the first time I had bacon jerky. I like bacon jerky, but then hey, it's bacon. How can you go wrong? Not so sure about turkey jerky. We'll give it a shot. We'll find out. We'll find out if y'all... It smells very, very strong. It, it stinks. <laughs> it smells like dog food. It does. And it kind of looks like dog food because it's like... It does. It looks like a dog tree. It's really pale in color. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm kind of scared right now. Do it. You're smaller. No. Because okay. I don't want to be able to taste it. Yeah, it smells like Chinese food almost. Mmm. <laughs> I still have mine. I made her taste it first. <laughs> But by that face, I don't know that I want to try it. It tastes like dog food. <coughs> that, was, that is icky. That was like mush in my mouth. It it is. It turns like crumbles and then turns to mush as soon as you bite into it. And I'm sorry. I don't think that's real meat. I'm sorry for anybody who likes turkey jerky. I don't. <laughs> But hey, on the upside, if you love turkey jerky, I got a bag for you. Give us a call. We'll ship it. Slices of real turkey breast, real smoke flavor, and no nonsense. And remember, real men don't have buns. That's what the back of this package says. All right. <laughs> well, so apparently it's all real and everything. It's got organic soybean in it. I don't know. That just wasn't good. That Anybody was so really good. wants to give it a shot? Send us a message. Send me a private message to be your address. I will mail that to you. And let us know if, if you, you like it. And if you try this, is this a good turkey jerky? Or, like, is this what all turkey jerky tastes like? Is, is all turkey jerky nasty? Or Does is it, it all just taste this like dog food? <laughs> okay. On to something else. <sighs> Yay! This is from the Daily Crave, and it says, Breaking News. Veggie chips. I love veggie chips. And on the back it has MMA Fight Night. So cool. These I are the first World Fight Club. Let's not talk about Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> These are gluten free, vegan, kosher, no GMO, no dairy, no artificial flavors, no hydrogenated fats, and no trans fats. All these healthy things. So these. Anybody can eat. It don't matter what you're allergic to in the world. You can eat these. <laughs> Unless you try to pull one of those. I'm allergic to vegetables, so you don't have to eat them. But you're not. Okay. You just say it. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Take these out just to show. There is green, yellow, and orange. And they are... Okay, hold on. Potato, spinach, and beet. Beetroot. You get the orange, because <laughs> I'm guessing that's the beetroot. They are really light and fluffy and airy, kind of like a cracker, but they look like the Ridge Trip. I'm so excited. Mm. The potato is really good. It tastes like potato sticks. Guess what? The spinach tastes like potato sticks. <laughs> they all taste the same, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're good. They taste like two straight potatoes. The beetroot, I felt like, had a little bit more flavor than the other two did. But yeah, they all basically just taste like regular potato chips. They're so good. I love that. These are really chips. good. These are in Rumble because yeah. I really like these, and they're like completely healthy and yeah, no sugar in them. How many calories in the bag? 80 in the whole bag. And how much from fat? Zero trans fat, zero saturated fat, four total fat grams. Wow. There so, yeah, really good chips. There is quite a bit of sodium on them. But, well, like, no <laughs> sugar. And, but, so, you know, for a snack, that's a great option. I love those. Those were so good. They those taste were like good. veggie straws. Okay. So, that's good because that took away the taste of the turkey jerky. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> All right. Ready? Ready. What? What is it with me and popcorn? This is Popcorners, the crunchy and wholesome popcorn snack. 
But this is in the flavor white cheddar. They are never fried. They're gluten-free, and they've got non-GMO corn in them. And they look like chips. They do. I'm, they look like tortilla chips. And I love white cheddar stuff. So. I was waiting to see if you were going to elbow me. Thought about it. So, yeah, as you can tell from looking at these, they just look like a tortilla chip. But, but they're, like, pop. They're, like, pop. They're yeah. fluffy. And they're fun. They taste stale. I'm so disappointed. I am, too. I'm sad. This is so <laughs> disappointing. I thought this was going to be so good. They just taste like a really thin rice cake. There's no, I, there's not even, you don't even really taste the white cheddar. Um, they're very bland. But. I'm giving it a stumble. You know, not, I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm so excited for those, and it's kind of sad, but they, they, they taste like a plain rice cake, you know. They taste like healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay, blue diamond almonds made nut thins in sriracha. I love flavor. sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> she loves spicy foods. We'll see. I'll I'm let so you excited. know in a minute if I love them or not. And my boyfriend loves sriracha too, so I'm super excited to get his outlook on these as well. Oh, how cute! I'm gonna put some in a bowl here so that. Oh. oh. You can see. Let me turn this bag around. They look like communion crackers. They do. They're just like little communion wafers. Wouldn't that be fun if you could like switch these out and give everybody sriracha tips at that communion? That would be hilarious. <laughs> That's how you get a house. <laughs> That's a fast path to hell. Sorry. They smell just like sriracha. These are good. Mm-hmm. They're not hot. But nope. then you have some of the sriracha flavor. That's what I was going to say. Cool. There's the flavor of it without having the spice to it. <laughs> but they really are like having comedian wafers covered in sriracha sauce. They're, they're crunchy, though. And Where's my wine Because they're this? made of almonds, so anybody with a nut allergy, sorry, you can't try these. But um, if you don't have a nut allergy, give them a go. They're really good. So if we got these in a cup of wine, can we just say we're doing communion? <laughs> Like to resurrect going to heaven for all the bad things we do? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That'll just be our version. Very, very good. I like them. After eating about three, then it gets a little heat, no, but means. nothing that, you know, a two-year-old no could handle. And they're gluten-free? They're really good. And they're from Blue Diamond, which is a very popular nut company. Yeah. Those are, good. Had, Those are something that I would buy. I think we had trail mix from them in our last Love with Food box. Could be. Alrighty. We're getting low. Oh, yeah, we are. <coughs> yeah, and I love protein bars. This is a pure protein with Greek yogurt style coating. Um, so surprisingly, because usually protein bars have some form of granola in them, but these are gluten free. So that's super awesome. Is there gluten in granola? Is it? I guess I don't know. Or I guess oats. I, I guess I, I don't, don't know. know. But this is gluten free and it looks like it's strawberry flavored. I'm super excited for this. I love protein bars. Yeah. Wipe all the crumbs to the other kinds of food. So we've got quite a variety of stuff. A lot of yeah. pop. This, this is what I mean by you get better snacks. I mean, aside from being better for you and healthier, it's not a lot of candy and junk. I I like these. I would much rather have crackers and popcorn and stuff than have candy. This looks like a yogurt bar. Oh, I can smell that turkey jerky. I know. I can too. And it... Somebody Sorry, it really does smell like dog food. <laughs> we need some tape like, to close gonna, that or something. Pull that mamma jam out. <coughs> See if we can set stuff on top of it to weigh it down so it don't... Okay, and I did... See, it doesn't say who this is by, so I'm assuming... Pure Protein is maybe the name of the company? Oh, Worldwide Sport Nutritional Supplements. And it's out of Bayport, New York. 
It's really kind of thick on the inside. It actually looks yeah. like a cookie dough, not like a granola bar mm -hmm. or anything or oats bar. And it has little pieces of strawberry in it. Mm. Which I'm allergic to. So we'll see how that looks. Don't die. <laughs> it's very good though. I love that. It tastes like a strawberry milkshake. Mm hmm. Kind of chewy. <laughs> That's what I was just gonna say. I feel like I've been chewing for a minute. Takes one. That one bar will last you a week. Because <laughs> you'll get tired of chewing before you get done with it. It almost tastes the like. In the texture, it might have like some crisp rice or something. And there's a little crunch to it, too. I like that. I like it too. It's like a chewy milkshake. <laughs> yeah. Strawberry milkshake. Super chewy, but chewy. Okay. Moving on. Okay, I'm gonna take this out because this is we are not going to open this. Because <laughs> I saw it when you went in there. This is just date syrup. So it's syrup made from dates. Oh. Choose or choose a better sugar. So it's like <coughs> One perfect ingredient, <coughs> organic something dates. So I'm guessing you can use it as a sweetener because it says better than sugar. You can probably use it as a sweetener for coffees and stuff. I know a lot of people that use syrup in their coffee syrup or butter. Yeah, but it says low glycemic index, potassium, antioxidants. Cool, so maybe we'll give that a try one of these mornings when we're having some coffee and we'll let she you can. know. She can. Okay, <laughs> I will. I'll take it home with me. <laughs> okay, but so now. Buffalo Blue Wings Seasoned Almonds. So we had Sriracha Nut Chips are made with almonds. And now we're going to have Buffalo Almonds. Is it blue like blue cheese? Yeah. Like blue cheese? Buffalo Blue Wings. So like Buffalo Blue Cheese. Okay. Well, this is from blue cheese, so we'll see. Legendary Foods. And three net carbs per serving. No sugar added. No cane juice. No agave. No honey. So this is actually a good snack for people who are diabetic because there's not a lot of carbs and no sugars. And they are very heavily, heavily powder coated almonds. Oh, they smell like almonds. It's, but they're just almonds with a powder coating. And they smell like hot wings. Mmm, those are good. I like them. I have the size I do. I love almonds, and I like buffalo wings, and I kind of like them. I'm getting too much of that blue cheese flavor. See, I can't really taste the blue cheese. I can taste the, I can taste the almond a lot. Don't like them. <laughs> They're actually not that bad. My freaking eyes twitching again. <laughs> Whenever I eat something that just hangs that spot, it makes my eye twitch. It does get a little overpowering. But yeah, they are quick. They have a lot of seasoning on they that. They do. Which would be great for like a chip or something, but with not such a small surface, it's kind of an overpowering flavor. They're definitely good. Don't get me wrong. And if you're the type of person that is crazy about seasoning, give it a go. They're good. I just, I don't know that I would eat... Even that. Very that. many. So this would probably actually make a great snack where you put like the almonds and cheese and some fruit together. Or even make like a trail mix. Because about five, six of those would be all that you, I would want yeah. to eat at a time. Okay. This, this is <laughs> Ready? We're down to the last couple things, people. Bobo's Oat Bites. Peanut butter and chocolate chip. Oh, wow, this is really thick. This is one thing. Okay. It looks like a hockey puck. It does. <laughs> does it have the texture of one? Because it looks like it's really heavy. No, it's soft. Let me see. No, it's really heavy. It's soft, but it's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's thick. It's like... It's like, a, like yes. a muffin or... I couldn't cut that thing. There you go. 
And this does have peanut butter in it, but it's non-GMO, vegan, and gluten-free. It kind of crumbly. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. It's, it's plain. Yeah. Can just. It tastes like oatmeal cookie dough. You know, like, like it, the oatmeal um, cream pies. Without the cream. Yeah. Without the good part. Right. <laughs> so I don't. I didn't care for those too much. That was. Not a fave. It's not something I would buy. No. no. It wasn't terrible, but I wouldn't buy it. Okay. So we are down to our last two items in here. And this is called Tone It Up Protein Bar. Peanut butter chocolate. So a lot of peanut butter and popcorn things going on yeah. here. And it says, what's Tone Up? To create a Tone Up. Oh, we created Tone Up. Tone it up to help women lead their healthiest, happiest, and most confident lives. So. Only women? Only women. Men Sorry, can't boys. use this product. <laughs> I hope it's delicious, too, and you guys can't have them. <laughs> That's not us. That's the company. So we don't make the rules. Okay, so at first glance, I thought it looked really good. But it looks like there's like wasabi seeds in there or something, or is that the green stuff? There's green stuff in this food, guys. Oh, <laughs> um, pea protein. Those are peas. They I smell like pea. It smells like peas. Those are peas. But hey, it's gluten-free and non-GMO. I, I want to know what it is before I eat it. They taste, they smell like peas. I'm a guy now, I can't have this food. Pea crisp, organic tapioca syrup, peanuts, rolled oats, semi-sweet chocolates. Sounds like a bunch of horrible things wrapped into one horrible thing. Let's try it. There you go. And it smells like peas. Without the green things, it looks good. Oh. <laughs> That's gross. Honestly, it tastes like... Nuts and dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it tastes like I just made you a mud pie at the baseball field again. It does. It tastes like dirt. I didn't like that. That was gross. Okay, so, men, you can have this product. <laughs> you are welcome to it. <laughs> On the behalf of women, we kindly give it to you. <laughs> we don't want you to feel left out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's in, what it is in there, but something in there, and maybe it's just everything mixed together. It literally tastes like peanuts and dirt, like dirty peanuts. So, yeah, that wasn't good. So that's a stumble. Um, yeah, don't yeah. try that. No, don't do it. <laughs> All right, last up, we got. Skinny Gin Clean Protein Bar, chocolate and peanut butter. So look, some more chocolate and peanut butter. Hopefully it's better than the last chocolate peanut butter protein bar. I love that it's called Skinny Jimmy. There's something in this last bar. I don't know what it is, but my whole mouth is like tingling, like an allergic reaction to it. So I don't know what's in there, but probably like chemicals. <laughs> I'm allergic to dirt. <laughs> don't eat dirt. So this only has 99 calories in it, and it's based out of Chicago, Illinois. Hey, my favorite Shout place Shout out to Chicago. <laughs> it looks good. It does. It actually looks like a peanut brittle with chocolate over the top of it, kind of. I think it tastes okay, but it sticks to your teeth really, really bad.
It almost tastes like a peanut brittle, but it's not hard like peanut brittle is. When she's done food. But I can still just taste that. That's terrible. Okay, still is not a fan of this. This tasted like cardboard. Yeah, it don't have a whole lot of flavor to it and no. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Okay, so basically I did not care for really any of the peanut butter chocolate stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna so get to the fun part. In the bottom of the box, with if you remember clear back at the beginning, we had the PB Fit. There is a recipe for PB Fit smoothies in there. And that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that does. And then oh for the just date. Uh, just like a, it's a card that compares it of how it compares to maple syrup or honey. And a little thank you note from Sylvie. Hi Sylvie. Hi Sylvie. <laughs> Thanks for sending us the syrup to try. And I will try it, I promise. <laughs> but that is everything in our box. <laughs> All together, I would have to give this box a rumble. I would too. I liked more I, of it than I did. I liked the more of the chip type and popcorn type snacks, yep. and not so much the sweets in it. Yeah, the and the bars in it weren't. I mean, besides the brownie bar, the rest of the bars <laughs> and stuff weren't. The brownie bar rocked. Brownie bar was so good. But I really liked These the veggie favorite. chips and the um, blue Sriracha. diamond nut thins. Yes. Sriracha flavored. I think These those are were so good. And the brownie bar was good, and the beef jerky mm -hmm. was, or the meat stick was good. But well, these were decent. Yeah, there was a lot of good things in here to try, and I really think you know a lot of people would like a lot of this stuff. I I've said it before on here that I'm kind of a picky eater, and I'm so. Not. But I wasn't a huge fan of the protein bars or the peanut butter stuff in this one. I got my snacks. So all in all, I'd give it a rumble. I'd say that this box did awesome. I love doing the love with food box. I love the healthy snacks it gives you. I love the option of feeding America. These are so, they, and we've done a couple of these now. And these are some of my favorite snack boxes. You know, like I said, along aside from it being good and you're doing good by providing a meal to feeding America, it's also fun snacks. You know, where you feel like you're actually getting a snack. I'm not getting a box full of candy. And so I like that, you know. Yeah. If you're going to spend that kind of money on snacks, I want snacks, you know. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us, for watching this again. And we appreciate it. We love doing it. And it's a lot of fun for us. And so we hope that you're enjoying it. And like I said, any of this stuff that you really want to try, you need to go on here and order it. Or hey, ship us your... Ship us your address and we'll see about getting give me what's turkey or definitely you, this turkey jerky. I'll give this to you free of charge. If you boys want to try the girl only protein bars, knock we yourself won't out. Tell. Be empowered and do the right manly thing. Everyone <laughs> is equal. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, obviously you do on YouTube if you're seeing this and it's ROS2998 or Canna Brit and make sure to click that notification button so you get notified every single time that we post a new video whether it's a snack video or it's an unboxing video make sure to check them all out all the videos on here rock and we will put a link to love with food in the comments or in the description, description below click it check it out it's a great box, guys. Till next time. Bye. Bye.